Hi guys, Mike here again. I want to talk today about noise. And in fact, I was thinking recently how we live in a world full of noise. For example, if you're in a room, uh, say like this house, for example, and someone is in the room next door talking, uh, you can hear their voices and somehow you need to tune those out. And so it is with the world that we live in. There's a lot of white noise going on. Uh, noise of traffic, noise of birds. We've got cicadas starting to start their songs this time of year. And um, even to think and to, to read the Bible and to hear God's voice, there's a lot of noise. You can't have a stereo on or your soundtracks playing or your headphones on and still hear the voice of God. Um, A.B. Simpson said these things. He said that when great blessings await you, be sure the devil will make his voice heard. And so there's times where we just need to shut out other voices and we need to have a filter in place. You know, sometimes we go to say something and we get that check and, uh, you know, that's just a filter. Um, you know, we've got to remember the devil is a liar. That's his native tongue. Uh, he will prejudice us. He will distract us. He will dissuade us against any cause where our blessings lie. Um, A.B. Simpson said this, he said, I've seen Jesus and my heart is dead to all beside. I've seen Jesus and my wants are all in him supplied. I've seen Jesus and my heart at last is satisfied since I've seen Jesus. So here's what I want to pray for you. I want to pray that you see Jesus. I want to pray that you hear his voice and I want to pray that you know his spirit. Father, we bless you. We thank you for every person watching this video. And I pray that the blessings that you have for them, they will see, they will hear and that they will know because they hear your voice. Don't let the voices of the world or the voices of our culture interfere with what you have for us. In Jesus name, bless you heaps. Amen.